Now he stops and reverses motion. Out of the shotgun, Maxwell's going to throw it. Looking left, throws that way. The pass is deflected. Yeah! Intercepted. Yeah! Iowa wins. Greg yeah! Castile. Greg Castile yeah! grabs a tip pass. The Hawkeye defense turns one on the Michigan State defense. And a stunned homecoming crowd watches as the Hawkeyes charge onto the field and celebrate. Is you know positive. Everybody thinking positive. Everybody knowing that you know if we it's little details that we got to do and the, the details you know if we, we get them all you know we're going to make a big play and knowing that a big play is going to be out there and you know somebody's going to make it. So um, that, was, that was the best. That was the biggest part of the you know the win was just knowing that somebody's going to make a big play and being positive about it and knowing that it's going to happen. I don't know. I just treat it like any other kick. Um, I think um, the greatest uh, piece of advice I've gotten was when. Uh, Nate Caden told me to treat every kick as a, like a Super Bowl winning kick. So I take that mentality into everything. I mean, it's huge. Now we, you know we got momentum going into Penn State, so it'll be a tough task. Down the stretch, uh, the offense finally punches it in. You guys get it to overtime, uh, and, you, and you hold them out of the end zone right away in overtime. Kind of talk about how the defense really took the momentum uh, uh, from tying the game up. And down. I think that you know, the offense did a good job punching it in, like you said. And then, uh, you know, we, got a, we, had to get a, we had to get a last stop. You know, we did that. And then, um, you know, we knew if we got the toss in, in overtime, there's going to be defense up first, and we were excited. You know, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a big part of the game. You know, it's, it's a clutch time, and you know, our defense is looking, looking forward to that. And I think that we, uh, we came out with the attitude. You know, uh, we had some momentum after the offense st scored the touchdown. So uh, it was just a great team effort. We kept fighting all day, and, uh, yeah, that last drive, we just, we just kept fighting out there. And, um, wouldn't quit out there, just kept battling. We knew, coaches kept telling us, just keep fighting. Something good's going to happen out there, and uh, it happened at the end. You see Greg Castillo come down with that pick in the second overtime. What's going through your head? Uh, just going crazy. You saw the <laughs> ball go up in the air. I'm like, hopeful. I was hoping someone was there. I couldn't really see behind some people. Then everyone started going crazy. They started running out there. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was an awesome feeling. Uh, what's it say about your team, the way that they really stuck with it in the second half, especially the offense down the stretch there? Uh, I think that was, uh, you know, besides the way the defense played and the other good thing is our special teams are, are starting to play the way we hoped, I think. And then, uh, you know, football is a game you just don't know how, to, how it's going to go. And uh, all you can do is worry about what's in front of you. H huge play, uh, James to Keenan on that first and 25, because we, we were in a real hole at that point, uh, especially the way the game was going. And then Mark came up with the two big ones. Get into overtime, Mike Meyer provides the offense, uh, ties a career high with four field goals today. Then you get out of there with him. Can you talk about Mike and, and getting out of here with him? You know, I don't want to ever take Mike, uh, use that word automatic, because that, that kind of su suggests that, you know, uh, it is automatic. There's nothing automatic. Mike has done such a great job. Uh, credit, too, to John Winky getting the ball down, Casey Kreider getting that ball back there. Those, those three guys are really working well together, and that was huge today, too. And, and conditions where it could be a little bit tricky, and uh, then the end of the game. Uh, you know, I think so fitting a guy like Louis Trinkapazat to get his hand on the ball, tip that ball, take it off flight, and give us a chance for the interception. Uh, just a great defensive play. And in a game like this, those things, uh, you know, we talked all week this week on the about really good game. It's ironic. Right. You know, in 09, uh, came down to the last play of the game. We were both 0 0 that day. Today, we were both one turnover. So, you know, it's just kind of almost a mirror image. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.